So they're talking about Moba Zane got tilted at the interviewer after this happened. So I'm interested in seeing what actually transpired and why Zane was upset about it. So we finna check that out. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with Zane. I think Zane looked very, very upset. Zane? Zane he just he just walked out. Yeah. Who? Cool. Mobile Zane's not okay. Why? What happened? Mm, I think maybe because he's stressed good because of the match. Because uh, I just want to watch him doing the interview session, but the interviewer asked him, uh, can can you give uh, some you know motivation, some something cheers to Malaysian team. <coughs> he just macam macam koyak lah, tak apa lah, you say he basically just tilted, he just tilted, he doesn't want to do anything so, I mean, if you, if you, you're talking, you're asking a competitor who just lost, I'm assuming this is after he lost, you're asking a competitor who just lost to sit here and give someone motivation while they're trying to get their own head straight, trying to figure out what they did wrong, trying to figure out how they can be better trying to you know turn things around for themselves and you're trying to ask them advice on helping some other people i mean it's just timing it's a time and place to do things that's not that's not the timing or the place to be doing that now i get it he's at an event like people want to interact with him and things like that but come on you have to also use a certain level of common sense and and i don't know i guess in certain cultures and in the in the um asian cultures maybe I know that Asian people tend to be more disciplined. You sit, you tend to do what you're supposed to do, you know, when you got to do it. Like, it doesn't matter how you're feeling and stuff like that. But it's not the same. This is just a whole different thing in, in America. It's like when people are pissed off and stuff like that, you just leave them alone. Let let them let them do what they're doing. Then you you come back later. But, yeah, I feel like I feel like the Asian culture is a lot different where it's like even if you don't feel like doing something, you know you have responsibilities and you'll do it anyway. So it's like the the mental fortitude like y'all y'all are a lot stronger in that in that area for sure yeah so like so like chat so interviewer asked asked them to like say their motivational message ask Zane to say motivational message to Malaysia he just say good luck SRG but he looks so tilted that's it he looks so tilted He's not in the. Uh, just, go just go home. Yeah. Because other media want to interview him. Yeah, other media want to interview him. Yeah, he just left. He just left. He just left, bro. Zayn didn't even care about the media, bro. He just left, bro. God damn. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a competitor, bro. Like that's a that's an American competitor. Like, you get pissed. You you know you should have won. You know you wanted to win. And then he's probably blaming himself. Everybody's saying, "Oh, hero pool, hero pool, this, hero pool that," like. If Fretchen is the only thing he can really play at the pro level and it's not working, do you think that he's not beating himself up more than y'all are beating him up? Like, the, like he's not a bad player. Like, he's not delusional to the fact that if it's his fault why they're losing, he's not delusional to that fact. He just don't want to hear it. People don't want to be trolled and stuff all day. But he's probably beating himself up harder than anyone else, especially if it's his fault. So... Yeah, it that that's just how it be. Wow. Do we have any sickness? No. Maybe just because of the emotion. It's definitely emotion. Zia, I think Zia is the only one that is all is. I look at Zia. Zia is Zia is pretty chill. He's just a chill guy, bro. He doesn't get mad. I mean, he doesn't get tilted. I mean, he's 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 Asian. <laughs> he he's a Filipino, isn't he? Like that. That's what I'm saying. It's just like the culture, the culture shock. And that that's what it is. It's just like a huge difference in in cultures. Of the uh, also, that already the, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why did they ask so much bad like bro, like why mobile in bro? That's such, bro. Bro, chat. To be honest, they had like bad inter. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything, but the interview was kind of L. Yeah, they go for the views, bro. They should have just asked like they. Yeah. The what the f you mean by bro they just want spicy questions like i mean that's what the media is right l media it's bro always going to be like that mm. like, he just have nothing to say yeah he's, he's, uh, wrong answer, then, uh, all the... yeah 
it's a it's a rough opponent also because um uh, yeah the talents we did do like a team briefing before N6 started so we got a bunch of like the international talents together in one call to just like talk about the teams what are their specialties and stuff and something that was pointed out about um a Falcon esports is that a common strategy they will use is that they will actually let the opponent pick comfort picks so that they can counter them, right? They don't go for like the strategy where, oh, this person is very good at this hero, we will ban it. No, they let them pick it because it gives it gives them information and then they can decide how to counter pick it, which I think is what happened in game two with the CC also, right? So I think it hurts even more because they had comfort heroes in that last game, right? Most of them were playing heroes they knew how to play and were confident in playing and they just kind of got destroyed <laughs> so yeah and i like that <clears throat> see i love the fact that in these tournaments and in these events like you got the teams you, i love the complexity of it that's what i love about the esport right it's the teams who just flat out ban you it's like no we can't let this person touch that we can't let them do that we can't and then also a team who has a strategy to let them pick it and then we'll counter it like this. Like, I, I love the two different spectrums. So it's like some people ban when they know you can only play s something. Some people let you play what you can only play because they know how to stop it. It's that that wide spectrum. It, it, this is what makes competitive so interesting because as a competitor, you're like, okay, if they don't ban my pick, I also got to go against counters. And certain teams specialize in countering it's like so how how do i become a better player and stop that from happening to me in the future so now you got to go through this whole training arc you want to know what i think of i think of i don't know if y'all saw it if you all watched the anime blue lock like where you got to break yourself down just to build yourself back up stronger it's like that's the mental thing that you got to go through when stuff like this happens and obviously zane does that but that that's probably what's going on right now like especially getting destroyed on your on your comfort picks is crazy so you got to go through that arc it's, it's going to be a tough journey but hopefully they can come back from this mentally and you know get back in a positive positive spirits and stuff because yeah that's sad yeah yeah i think it's impossible to get anyone bro even i think we i think zia, zia is able to but like he's, i just don't want to you know it's just kind of not a I, I know I know Zia is just a chill guy, bro. He he doesn't care. Like he if I ask him he's probably like, yeah, it's fine, come, let's do interview, but like well, you can be a good friend here. Yeah. Like cheer him up a bit, give him yeah, a Yeah, cheer him up, cheer him up. So so BTK is gonna go up Malaysia. Oh my god, it's possible. It's oh, possible. That's the craziest chat, that might be one of the craziest storyline on M6. I mean like we all know there's a lot of set set upsets and shit, but like bro, if that happens bro, you know I, I feel sad bro I'm not gonna lie damn at the end of the day they might just meet Malaysia unless they get lucky and meet S2G and or KBG but like Could they, I don't it's I hard don't, it's hard to be honest I don't want to make the early assumption that the Malaysian teams are going to make it through because my prediction for the Malaysian teams has already been not the best but yeah, I, I, I'm personally still afraid, you know, because I want to see the Malaysian dreams go through, obviously, but they've been kind of inconsistent, so... Mm. Man, this is tough, man. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for everybody. I want to see, I just want to see what happens, man. I'm a fan of the whole story arc, trying to see what happens, trying to see who wins, who pulls through. Like, what, whatever, whatever happens, like... You're going to see the teams who's been working the hardest, who who deserves to win. Like, the people who deserve to win is going to win. So, yeah, that being said, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Hopefully, um, BTK can put it together and keep their heads on straight while going through this and while having to rebuild, re-strategize, and, you know, fig figure it out. Like, that's what you got to do. You got to go and figure it out. So, yeah, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.